perfect day from the Disney Skyliner. We're taking it to go to Epcot to see what's new with construction, maybe eat some food and wine, festival food. I don't really have much planned, but let's go out and have fun. It really is amazing to see how big France is going to be once it's completed. Coming in through the International Gateway, I guess I'll uh, go left to Future World. In this back section, next to the Toy Soldier Shop, which is currently closed, in this window, you can find a terrifying toy soldier. Well, I've been in Epcot for a few minutes and the rain's already started. Typical Epcot. Stopping over at Joffrey's. I'm not a coffee fan. I'm here for tea, but this actually sounds really good. The toffee flake. What's even more funny is I'm at this Joffrey's. The rain is starting to come down and I'm near the World Show Place. Back in the World Show Place again to avoid the rain. That's the only reason they came in here, but while I'm in here, I'll uh, get a fisherman's pie. It's funny, this exact same thing happened when I was here with Sarah a few days ago. It was just a huge downpour where it was like two hours. Uh, it's a little lighter right now, so I'll check after this. Hopefully it just passes over like a normal Florida storm. And just like that, it's sunny again. A quick little Florida rain. Last time I was here, I saw citrus blossom and wanted to try lobster tail and the crispy citrus chicken. But the line was super, super long, and that was late in the day. It's like lunchtime and there's no one here. Here's the crispy citrus chicken. Almost looks too pretty to eat. And I think I know why there were lines the other day, because they have the orange bird sipper. This is like the only sipper I've seen that I actually really wanted, and it is very heavy. Maybe they, did they fill it with a drink? No wonder it was so heavy. It's filled with like an orange slushy. So that's exciting. I am excited for this chicken, even though it does look like it's gonna be really messy. I guess I'll start here. Now I did not care for that chicken. It was like over breaded. It's weird, that's the second time I've had a Disney chicken thing that looked good and it wasn't. I did like the sauce on it though. However, this orange bird slushy thing, whatever this is, orange cream, it's actually really good. I'm gonna be drinking this whole thing. Remember when this was Captain Neo? I miss that. Here inside the land, I think I'm actually gonna check out Awesome Planet because it recently opened and I've never seen it. I am shocked by the size of the theater here in the land. I've never set foot in here. Huge lines that living with the land. The whole queue is full. Let's go check out the seas with Nemo and friends. It's been so long since I've actually looked through the aquarium and Omni movers never have a wait. Dolphins were going wild in here a moment ago. There they are, buddy, right in front of us. I do like that they have manatees here. You can see they're actively working on the roof over here at Cosmic Rewind. There's actually a lot of guys on the roof. My camera can't zoom in though, unfortunately. I never noticed this about the monorail, but every track column has a number on it. This one being 192, 191 back there. All day I've been holding my little orange bird buddy, but it's not that big a problem because it's just like holding a little ball in your hand because that's what his head is, the orange. I'm not a big fan of the popcorn buckets or sippers. The only sipper and popcorn bucket I ever bought were the Dumbo and Casey Jr. But when I saw the orange bird, I knew I had to get it. I may even like it more than the Dumbo. Kind of weird, but out of all the times I've been to Epcot after the reopening, I haven't seen any characters, or any of the cavalcades, I should say. All I saw was like Mary Poppins behind England the one time. No cavalcades, though, going through World Showcase. I'm here in Acure Shirts, I believe it's pronounced, the restaurant in Norway. It's a relaxation station at the moment. So I figured I'd stop in, because I've never seen inside of here. Now, this used to be one of the Disney Princess dining experiences. Obviously not open now. Pretty nice in here though. What do you know, as soon as I walk out, there's a little Mickey cavalcade. I do think Japan has the best stores, but Germany is a close second. I like that these Mickey and Minis have the little teddy bears. They really changed it up inside here. They used to have the big tables you can kind of drink at, do the flights they would sell. I actually bought this same Stein years ago. Funny to see they still have them in stock. One of the things I really do miss is having the ambassadors from the native countries here in Epcot Walking around World Showcase it just feels like something's missing, and I think that's what it is, just not having the actual ambassadors here. Those sure are some angry fish. I feel like it might be rather difficult to get some water from these fountains. Here in Japan, at the top of the hill, just got some simple California rolls, but they have ice green tea, so I'm very excited for that. Now this green tea is actually really good. With the sushi though, there's this um, wasabi paste. 
I've never heard of wasabi paste before. So hopefully it tastes all right. I'm gonna give it a go here. That's pretty good. Something I did notice that was kind of strange inside the restaurant, the lady that gave me the, the food, I looked at her name tag and it said Tokyo, Japan. Like that's where she's from. So I don't know if maybe she's an American citizen and was originally from Tokyo, Japan, or if they're keeping like just a few around. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But it was good to see that there was a person from Japan serving in the Japanese restaurant. I don't think I mentioned where I ate. It's Katsura Grill at the top of the hill. Here's the menu, but it's starting to rain. So we'll check out the Mitsukushi store. Castle looks pretty cool from here with the rain outside. And ironically, flanked by umbrellas. That's what you'll see they're selling around this window. Flying to Japan soon, so I'm definitely gonna get these luggage tags. You see this origami samurai thing, looks pretty cool. And then you look at the sample and uh, that's definitely not right. It's not even put together. It's definitely worth walking all the way back here in Japan, not just for the store or the castle, but these amazing statues. I would like to try a Spice Road table someday. The menu actually does look pretty good, especially that chili rub salmon. I know a lot of people get confused here in France, but this bottom restaurant is Chefs de France. And to the right over here, you have Monsieur Paul, which is actually upstairs. Kind of a dilemma. I want to head back to the resort, which is Caribbean Beach, but the Skyliner is stopped due to rain. Maybe we'll go to the boardwalk. Even though it's just a light drizzle, the Skyliner is shut down. Might as well continue on over to the boardwalk. See what's going on over there. I think it's funny the sign here at the boardwalk. Floor may be wet. Indeed it is. It should say maybe slippery. I know it's close, but it's still kind of weird to see Ample Hills no longer here. This is weird. The boardwalk's like so empty right now. Most of these places are closed. I do think out of all the resort stores, Boardwalk easily has the best. Last time I was here in the Boardwalk lobby, they have the gingerbread house. I guess this is what was normally here. They have a coaster. And the creepy chairs too. And a massive elephant thing. I ended up taking a bus from the boardwalk to the Riviera because I'm almost at my hotel. So that is going to do it for Epcot. Overall, really fun day. Got to eat a little bit of food. I like the um, Katsua Grill up there in the uh, Japan section. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. And it rained a few times. Was able to avoid it for the most part. But it did stop the Skyliner, so that's kind of upsetting. But that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.